Hi everyone, this is Nabir Watcher. It's January 4th, 2018. All right, I haven't made any videos lately, but I've been incredibly busy and for the lack of privacy during the holidays, family and friends always around. Kind of hard to make videos. So I am on Rodrigo Contreras Lopez Facebook video post that he posted on October 26, 2017, during the California fires. Let's watch this video of the weaponized sun simulator. So I believe the verdict is in. So next time we have California fires mysteriously starting overnight. Funny how peculiar that is. Let's watch that again. So here we have we can see the characteristics of the Sun simulator and I want you to notice right here when every time these sparks come out that this lens thing focuses this huge lens that I've been saying all along in my videos there's a large lens not attached to the simulator but notice how it is moving and fluctuating and reacting with the pulses of light acting to re i believe to be focusing the laser beam making it more intense dew directed energy weapon so see when it pulses the light it reflects off of it wow watch it one more time so that is supposed to be the sun just let me pause it right there. With that being said, let's look at some evidence of this sun simulator and what we have. So here we have a picture of NASA appearing to work on the sun simulator. Some may say that that looks like the sun, but it looks like there's an object in front of it. Yeah, I've watched the International Space Station videos myself, and this would appear to be coming up out of the sun. You could say that's the sun, right? Well, before you say that, let's look at some uh, very compelling videos of this object of the sun, or what is thinking to be the sun, turning off and on. There, it's turning on and turning off, on and off. We never even saw it rise over the horizon and the light of the earth is on the left does that even make any sense right in this snapshot of a video from the wayne steiger uh, channel here we can see the sun simulator showing what appears to be two suns well this is what i believe to be the earth facing sun and this is the space facing side this i believe it has like an aperture that's why it's larger and looks significantly different than we see in all the other videos now let's look at some more videos of what appears to be this object here and the sun simulator so let's just get right into it let's go back and look at this patent of this of this sun simulator patent next i want to start with the lenses that are in front of it and this is everything that is in this patent i've got proof of all of it in just a few pictures this here is the lens lenses that are in front of the arc xenon lamps each one of these little outlines of this object here is a xenon arc lamp i've had other videos in greater detail that is in front of each one of these lenses that we could see in front of the sun now let's just check out some of the most strangest sunrises this is captured over in lake starnberg germany look at let me just look at how we could just see all the evidence of this 
lens system, like I had showed you in my other videos, what appears to be, this is the setting sun. Let's go back in time, one mouse click at a time. And I want to show you this object here and all these lenses projecting from that lens and the dots that you see are from the sun simulator this is a projection of the lens such as we had on the here we have the sun simulator light source this is not the lenses that are in front of it that is the light source but they have the lenses that are in front of it so on the mb333 channel we've all showing this video that we caught in the clouds this is zoomed in what appears to be what was this it wasn't near the sun what that was is what i just showed you one of these now let's just show you when this thing appears to hit on one of the clouds if the projection the distance of the focal point hits it right on the chemtrail cloud watch this we go back and when that hexagonal lens gets right on top of a chemtrail cloud we get that look how perfectly straight lined that is that is crazy <laughs> so basically that's what you get and this video here we have december 24th and it earlier go back one more well, here you can see the lens aberration just like we show in the patent i'm gonna go back so here we get the same effect look at this looking exactly like we saw in outer space and here we get the red and blue green aberration like we saw in the patent in figure one this shows the blue red lens aberration so we have the blue on the inside and the red on the outside this is a diagonal view this would be the arc xenon lamp reflecting off this mirror bouncing off these mirrors and going through an aperture and then going through these lenses these lenses here are the hexagonal lenses that we see are modular there are three of these per xenon lamp so let's go back and look at this lens aberration that we see in this video in this snapshot here we have the red blue aberration right before your eyes going through the lens creating a focal point right here creates the projection over here there you go all the evidence you need in a single video all the proof we could see the blue red apparition just like the patent shows look at that see the blue with the red around it going through blending the colors through the aperture now we get this green red and blue mm-hmm Looking more and more like the sun simulator as the sun rises. And look at the perfect hexagonal pattern. This doesn't appear. That's why they want to cover this up, because they don't want us to see the hexagonal cloud light. <laughs> Here we go again. This is a different day. There we go. Just like you saw in the NASA pictures. Same thing. Is that for real? Well, here's another video showing a similar, this thing turning off and on. Must be working on this thing. I have to show you how it's powered. Go back and watch the weaponized video from the Moon Simulator. It went to a 50 minute video showing in detail. This video is to show further proof of this. And yet, I have even more proof. 
let's go and let me show you some new videos that I have new evidence in light of what I showed you before now there was a lot of skepticism on these pictures but these were submitted submitted to me by a subscriber showing these spinning cube on the on their house and on their barns all these different pictures showing this cube object it's a spinning cube but it's showing its curved edges because it goes through a lens yet and I wish we could catch these on videos just take the time it must have been slowly spinning but it would have rotated here we could see the light going all the way across on a mirror and then new photos in light of all this from a yet another subscriber about a week ago showing me this behold now we can begin to see the same object the Sun simulator see the same light pattern coming off this thing all that light projects onto a spinning cube I will show you that in a pattern but let's just look at some of these photos look at this barn picture showing up again because of the lenses and because of the solar eclipse we even had multiple pictures of multiple eclipses on the ground how many eclipses should we show during a solar eclipse we should be seeing one and yet look at that that is crazy so on this video during the eclipse many people saw much hundreds of little mini eclipses why do you think that was see all the eclipses on the ground this appeared all over the place showing all these eclipses why because it's going through all those lenses that I showed you in this patent these lenses right and here when the Sun eclipsed through all those lenses now we get this many eclipses on the ground so let me touch lightly again on the spinning Sun simulator this I've got a compilation of spinning cubes and the black dot this is from the Zion warrior from Florida watch him zoom in on this spinning cube according to the NASA pattern which I will go back to was 20 foot by 20 foot cube so all that light from the xenon lamps through those lenses are shining onto a spinning cube let's go forward let him zoom in on this one I go this in greater detail in my other videos this video is primarily for evidence without going back and showing this stuff over and over again <laughs> so just wanted to show you the new evidence the new evidence here is over Australia we could see the spinning cube very clear and then we get the spinning cube on a time lapse this is more of the projection of it through a lens over a time lapse in Australia we could see it here in this video and then we get to see the cones of light on the spinning edges of the cube creating these cones of light in this time lapse over Australia as well these are the cones of light from that spinning cube must be six of them because the six edge again another one of Australia many of these are done with cell phones and so many will say that it's the shutter or a cheap camera but if that black dot is an overload sensor because it's a cheap camera then you ought to see that black every time you look at a bright Sun not just when it's convenient for the shield tards to tell you that so it's either always there or it's never there it's that peculiar and in fact we can even see this light shining off the mirror of the car do you see it on the window of the car right there let's right that's this one better now keep your eye on this window right here you'll see the black dot it happens pretty fast go backwards 
I can't run the mouse and point at it with the mouse at the same time. Do you see it on the window there? Right there. Do you see the window, the black dot on the car? Okay, moving forward. Here we see the spinning cube projection of the spinning cube, not the actual. It's a projection because we have the lens array, which I think causes these projections, makes it look like a projector, thus the name projection. Here we get another spinning apparition from a home camera. Actually, I believe this was a cell phone, so how could you even try and explain that one? You want to call it a UFO? I don't think so. Yeah, I believe in UFOs, but that wasn't it. So, again, uh, black to that back, black dot once again. Here we see it coming up in the sun over Mexico. Here we see the fake light. Look at the angular light of this fake sun as it rises up, shining the black dot reflecting on the water right here. The black dot appears. So again, our government has created a fake sun. Look at Germany has made a massive one as well. This is ground-based. I don't think they plan on putting that one in space, but the fact that it is possible. Here is a sunset in San Diego that I had created. And here we can see the yellow natural light of the true sun with a fake white sun in the middle. Isn't that interesting that the sun changes colors from white to yellow as it rises or sets from the horizon? Look at that. Here's my theory for the fake sun, that it is there in its heliosynchronous orbit. In other words, it's always in front of the sun orbiting around the Earth while the real sun is still there, 93 million miles away, yellow. But because of the nemesis star drawing away its energy, it can no longer produce the visible light necessary to keep us from freaking out. Panic control, you might say. But the heat of the sun in its infrared light still approaches us. And we feel its heat and its warmth. But the sun simulator is only capable capable of producing mostly light unless it goes through a convex lens we do get a more heated version of it but it's not the even warm light that it, a natural sun can do but between the heat that the real sun is still producing and the light of the sun simulator the two produce what appears to be basically normal to keep you from panicking <laughs> And the other reason is not is our sun failing and possibly going into a mini ice age that this whole system is here of this sun. And last but not least, Trying to answer all your questions, go back and watch my other one. But the flashlight represents the sun simulator. The white light, the light on the ceiling represents the real sun. Should have had a yellow light bulb in there. And when the sun is in its heliosynchronous orbit in front of the real sun, and then we have the low chemtrail clouds, give us a large sun. And high altitude, high altitude clouds or chemtrails give us a small sun. And then when a planetary body comes into it, into it, we get the dark halos like we see in this video. Eclipse. Darkness. Keep the light shining. The lens array. Double halos. All that because of this stuff. Look at the diameter of that thing. That would just not be if the sun was big and far away, like we're led to believe. The real sun's still there. Anyways, please copy, like, and share this video. Have a blessed day.